The murder of 10-year-old Haley Owens in 2014 is again making headlines as her killer, Craig Wood, is back in a Greene County courtroom this week. In 2018, Wood's sentence came down to the judge, Thomas Mountjoy, who gave him the death penalty when the jury couldn't reach an agreement. That process and decision is something the death penalty policy project says has only been done twice in the last decade. And now Wood's lawyer is arguing the sentence is unconstitutional. Color 10 Cindy Moran is explaining more tonight from outside the Greene County Courthouse. Well, Wood will be in court for the next few days as his attorneys fight to get his sentence changed. I spoke with Adam Woody earlier today, an attorney who has not been involved with this case, but says a death penalty is not a common sentence. Death penalty cases in general are rare. Missouri is one of 27 states that still uses the death penalty as a possible sentence for someone who was found guilty of first degree murder. Only been one jury since 2013 that's imposed a death penalty in Missouri. There were two cases, one in 2017 and one in 2018, in which judges imposed uh, death sentences. There's very specific circumstances where a judge can impose a death sentence. Missouri is even in the more rare category where uh, if the jury can't decide, then the judge gets to decide. It's a process only used in Missouri and Indiana, as criminal defense attorney Adam Woody says other states default to life in prison if the jury cannot make a unanimous decision. And we believe as a people uh, that the community um, has better judgment than any single person. Robert Dunham is the director of the Death Penalty Project. If you're going to have a death penalty system, it has to be administered in a way that's fair. Greene County Prosecutor Dan Patterson has said he's confident the sentence will hold up. But with Missouri's current law, Woody says the courts have an uphill battle to face for Wood's case. It's an old law. It's sort of an antiquated law. It's just been on the books in Missouri for so long, uh, but it's never been challenged. And, and this is the time uh, that, that the, the attorneys for Mr. Wood believe that it's ripe for appeal uh, because this is sort of the wave across the country right now is uh, determining death issues in favor of the defendant. Woody says the case could be appealed all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court no matter the decision of this week's hearing. Reporting in Springfield, Sydney Moran, Color 10 News.